Now for this next part, what we've got to do is show that the kinetic energy lost in the collision is 536 mu squared. And you'll notice that I've updated the diagram with the velocities that we found in the previous part, 1 6th u for a and 5 6 u for b. So how are we going to show that that kinetic energy lost is 536 between a and b? Well, we just need to put in that kinetic energy lost equals, well, it must be the initial kinetic energy minus the final kinetic energy. The initial kinetic energy is going to be greater than the final kinetic energy because there's going to be some energy that is lost due to the heat and sound, etc. So we're just going to say then that this will be equal to the kinetic energy um, initial and then we've got minus the kinetic energy that is the final kinetic energy. Now knowing that kinetic energy is a half mv squared normally then for the initial kinetic energy it's going to be a half times the mass times the initial speed squared so that's going to be u squared. As for b, it was stationary, so there was no initial kinetic energy from here. When it comes to the final kinetic energy though, let's just put in brackets here, it's going to be the sum of the kinetic energies of both a and b. So for a it's going to be a half m times its speed squared, so it's going to be one sixth u all squared and then we're going to add that to the kinetic energy of B so that's going to be a half the mass M times its speed 5 6 U and that is squared. Okay so what we've got here for the first term anyway is a half M U squared a minus and what we have here is essentially going to come to 13 36 so we've got 13 36 mu squared. So half mu squared that's what 18 36 minus 13 36 is going to be 5 36. Okay 5 36 mu squared. That's what we had to show. All right.